Hello, you developers, welcome back to the Doing It Is channel. Today, we are going to do full calendar, which is a smart little calendar that you can use for your calendar in your application. So, it's a JavaScript event calendar. Actually, these are events that you can create and you can show them in the calendar. So, what I did beforehand, before you guys came here, I actually created an event table, I gave it a title description, and uh, I created the card for that as well so I did that as well so one small thing when creating the card the view path has changed now you have to put the whole path there so it starts from it's since I'm using Linux Ubuntu so it starts from bar WW and you have to go into the project and then the backend views and the particular uh, table that you have uh, that you're going to create so mine is event so I actually added uh, event as well so that is what we did uh, so we are going to the to full calendar uh, we have an extension that is created by Philip Frenzel uh, for year 2 and we are going to install that and we are going to um, uh, initialize it and add some events and show those events in our calendar uh, so let's go to our composer and actually just add, let's add let's go to the project structure um, and change I have added the comp uh, feel free prenzel you to full calendar thing to my request section and what you have to do next is do a composer update i am in the i'm in the directory of my application so composer update so that is going to all that uh while that is happening let's create what we need to create in our application so first thing we have to initialize it so to initialize it, initialize it, just copy this and come. I'm in the event index page, so I'm going to remove this and put this here. We don't want the grid. We just want our calendar to show. Okay, so right now it's going to give an error because it's not in, uh, installed. So the language is default. We want, don't want the language setting. Uh, and uh, we are not going to get it from the Ajax calendar as well so let's go to the documentation and check it out oh and there is some some one other thing that you can check out as well you go to e2 extension and uh, full calendar they have a pretty good document on how to do what as well so let's check that out as well no this is not what i was expecting okay maybe this is it yeah this is what we wanted maybe not have they removed that part no they haven't okay so actually let's paste this part in so i'm gonna now i'm gonna explain so we have to create the events in our controller and pass it to this widget which will show the events so the events are going to look like this these are events so we have in our controller uh, events controller we have to create the events okay so uh, I don't want a search thingy let's get all the events from the database so events equals event find all actually find all 
and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop through those events events as event event I'm going to enlarge the font a little so that you can see the bit see it better and these are the properties of an event so event will have so hold on so the event is copy this bit and oops. and this is what we are going to do we are going to use the a2 full calendars models event class and we are going to create an object from that i don't like the capital e so i'm going to do oh just never mind i'm going to do change it to simply and now what we are going to do is we our database has the particular events and we are going to replace the values so this is going to be the id and this is going to be the event title event title and of course the event creator date created date okay so now at the at the end we are going to add those event object to the events array that we have actually um yes events array and we are going to pass that events array to our view file events events okay let's check whether we have got it installed it's all installed let's run okay we don't have a created date so unknown property event created date okay let's go check the database created date we have that hmm. oh I see hmm. let's end this okay what is the error we are getting we are getting that there is no called event created date hmm That is not possible. We have a created date. Did I spell it wrong? Created date. Created date. Hmm. Let's let's uh, what can we do? Hmm. Let's put a value there for now. I think I know the issue but let's put this for now maybe it wants a date time object and not just a string so we can do that okay so we got our events uh, calendar now it's there the calendar is working but our event is not showing. Why is that? So it is supposed to show this date. Hmm. What else do we need? That's basically it, right? Oops, maybe, maybe I'll change this. Let's put tasks and 
maybe the same variable is an issue and let's pass tasks as event and let's pass to this and try there you go that was the issue uh, so the task title is not showing why is that we have a title test event it should show test event as the title oh. hmm I see you can't do this you can't do that that is stupid that's why it didn't work the creator did didn't work that's the reason why as well now it should work hopefully yes now it works okay uh, sorry for the bunch of mistakes that's how it goes i am just creating this at all on the top of my mind i haven't i don't practice before yes that is my mistakes anyways uh you can create one more task as well another task uh some description and create and it will show up there you go so thanks for watching uh and i hope you guys enjoyed the lesson uh See you next time around. Have a good day. Bye.